Okay, so I'm uh, at a couch surfing house in uh, Timica, uh, Papua, which is uh, the Indonesia side west of uh, Papua New Guinea. They got uh, yeah bars and stuff, but very nice house. Actually, this house, these houses were built in the 70s. There's a big copper and uh, gold mine. Actually, it's the biggest gold mine in the world and uh, one of the biggest copper mines in the world here in Timica and they built these houses uh, the mine did and they uh, nice couches here and stuff and uh, yeah, they call this a one bedroom house I'm just drying my clothes and stuff but yeah the AC and all this doesn't come with the house and all this new fresh tile uh, new paint. These houses are very simple, basic. Um, this is a toilet here. And uh, they use the bucket for the shower. Uh, this is the kitchen. And put some light on. Yeah. Uh, the guy here is a pasture. Here's another room. Uh, they call this a one bedroom house. I don't know why they call it a one bedroom. To me, it's a two bedroom. But uh, the house here comes with uh, the house is uh, costs like 70 million rupees. They pay 150 US dollars a month for and had a 20 year plan. So they pay like $21,000 when the house is paid off. And the house costs around $7,000 for this so called one bedroom house with the kitchen uh they had they have a big zone out here uh many of these houses are quite the same some have a kitchen some have two bedrooms and all very a little bit in price between five ten thousand dollar difference uh so i got lucky uh to stay out here with the couch surfers and um they Picked me up at the airport, I've been staying here for like five days, and uh, yeah, good thing they picked me up because at the airport they didn't even want nobody coming here as far as a Westerner goes because they think that they think that I was like a reporter and uh, they didn't want me to come in. But luckily, the couch surfer said, Oh, you know, they sponsored me to come in, so whew, good. You know, they're very uh, strict here about the gold mine and stuff. But what I want to say is in the 1970s, the guy here was the, he's a pastor. But they, he came from Java. And they didn't want to bring him here directly. They didn't want to bring anybody here unless they were Muslim. And you could only come here if you sign the paper off that you were Muslim. So he did. But he's actually a Christian pastor. He came here and this basically was like a Muslim compound. And they needed workers and they needed more people to supply the town. So basically they brought people here and supplied the town so that they could establish the mine bigger and better. Hmm, smart, smart. Also, it was a working company that came to Indonesia to set up this gold mine. So I believe not only did Indonesia do this as far as to help establish the mine, but they also wanted Muslims to come here and disrupt the American political platform behind everything. That's my belief. I don't really know. I haven't really looked up the history or nothing. This is what I've heard. So it's a good story, something to think about, but yeah, these are my stories I run into, and uh, yeah, my next journey could be another interesting one, so stay tuned.